Anna in for you. When's Daddy coming on? Oh, soon, sweetheart. Really soon. Mm, soon. Oh, darling, we all do, but it won't be long now, OK? Yeah. Tell you what, why don't you write to him? Or, better still, do one of your brilliant drawings. I'm going to draw a spider. Oh, a spider? I do really good spiders. I'll draw one for Max, too. Oh, cool. go on, hey. then. Off it, go on. Spiders <laughs> have eight legs. They do have wow. eight legs. Um, I um, spoke to Adam last night, and he's arranged a meeting with Marion just in informal chat, so hopefully the three of us can make a sense. sense. <gasps> we can't afford a custody battle. I don't care how much it costs. She's not going to take my son from me. OK, OK. No matter what happens, we can't get angry. We can't lose our temper. No matter what she says, we stay calm. I know. Stay calm. <laughs> I will stay calm. See, look at me. I am totally calm. Mm -hmm. Hey, that's a really cool spider. Hey, your dad will love that. I'm Max. Shona, I've got a visitor. <gasps> Max! Max! <laughs> I'll tell you what, why don't I, um, I take Lily to school and drop off Harry? You guys can have a chat. <sighs> stay calm. Well, it gives us a chance to talk. Well, we can talk, but some of us don't want to listen. And what's that supposed to mean? I understand neither of you like to be criticised, but the plain truth is Max and Harry are both living in a chaotic, dysfunctional household and they would be better off coming to live with no, me. No, hang on a minute. They would be safe with me. Safe, secure and loved. So they get all that with us. Really? Let's look at some facts. After my Callum died, Sarah had a mental breakdown. She's had a series of failed relationships, and this latest incident with Harry just proves he's not in a safe environment. I love my son, and I will always put him first. And as for Max, his stepfather is in jail. Max came to me because Shona totally lost control. And she is, let's not forget, the mother of the thug who killed Max's real mum. Not exactly a certificate in good parenting. Can we keep this civilised? As the facts of the case, whether you like it or not. Look, nobody is pretending to be perfect. <laughs> I am not asking for perfection. Simply competence. I knew this would be a waste of time. I will still be going through the courts to get custody of Maps and Harry. Oh, no, please, Marion. Do you know what? I wouldn't be so sure of yourself if I were you. See that. We had a visitor today. Yeah, Max came round, so maybe he's not so keen on living with Grandma as you think. Max is free to see whoever he wants. I would never tell him who he can and can't see. I know what it feels like to be cut out of the lives of people that I love, which is why I'm prepared to fight for custody of my boys. Came as a surprise to me, too. I still visit. Lots. Like, more than before. And you won't need to sneak off in the future, right, Max? It's been nice getting to know you. Like, properly. It has. I've loved it. And I know I've made mistakes and I have said sorry to Max. Me too. Max, I want you to tell me honestly if they put any pressure on you to say this. No. This is my decision. And I can't help you anymore, can I? But you listen. If you ever feel unhappy here, or, or you think Harry is, or if you feel worried, then... Uh, he knows where you are. I was talking to Max. Yeah, I get it. Thanks. Because I'm not going anywhere. I'll always be here for you. Christmas. Oh, um, they've pulled Christmas forward for Sinead. Oh, you know, you get that mixed up in your own oh, stuff. No, come on, you won. And he's fine, he's happy, look. Uh, although I think we're going to have to get you off that stupid computer game. Yeah, haven't you got homework to do or something? Oh, totally made the wrong choice, didn't I? Oh, 